I think one of the things that um, inexperienced riders or, or learning riders, um, one of the mistakes that they make in riding is they sort of assume that riding is like a, uh, um, a math problem or a, a history objective test where it's not done, it's done, and then move on. And writing is not like that. In fact, an old professor uh, of mine used to say, writing is never finished, it's only due. Meaning that you can always tweak it a little bit, you can always revise it. Many famous authors say that they have trouble reading their own published works because when they read, they're always thinking, oh man, I should have I should have added that or I should change this word or tweak this. It's sort of never finished. And that's one thing that you want to keep with you, that writing is a process. And what we want to do is remi remind ourselves that revision is the foundation of that process. And what, what you need to do as far as revising your essay is don't be afraid to make changes. Don't be afraid to let other people look at your work. What you want to do is get as many eyes on whatever it is you're writing as you can. And these people don't have to be English majors or writers. They can just be people who give an opinion. Now, obviously, as the author, you have the right to accept their opinions or reject them, but you do want honest input. Um, I'd encourage you to visit, visit the Writing Lab, Writing Center, any type of writing tutors, whatever you want to do to try to get your essay or your paper or your memo or whatever it is as good as you can possibly make it. Um, for the online classes, I would encourage you to get together with your peers within the online classroom and see about exchanging papers through email so that you can get their opinions. Now, it's harder to do for us on, in the online, in the virtual classroom, rather than a traditional classroom where everybody's present and you can just swap papers, but it can still be done. So I would encourage you to touch base with your classmates and make any <clears throat> connection you can in order to make your writing uh, better. And when I say better, I you know, basically mean meaning that um, <clears throat> try to eliminate as many grammar mistakes, organizational mistakes, um, you know, fragments, any, anything from the objective side of writing. And um, really, that's going to make you a better writer. You know, writing does not come overnight. Maya Angelou had a great quote when she said, uh, somebody said, do you think you're a natural born writer? And she said, being a natural born writer is a lot like being a natural born open heart surgeon. And I always, you know, kind of remember that because writing, you know, it's, it's a learned craft. It's a, it's a moving target. It's developing always. And just keep that in mind. But at some point, it's going to be due. And then whatever you turn in, it's what I grade. And the more mistakes I find, the lower the grade's going to be. So what you want to do is try to eliminate some of those mistakes prior to submitting your paper. And by doing that, it's engaging with your classmates, going to the writing center, getting tutoring, letting as many people review your paper as possible. And I think that's going to be something that would benefit you greatly.